Hey everyone, I'm going to be teaching you how to use wax today, also how to do a basic effect, and how to get wax, of course. So you're going to want to open your browser and go to debugmode.com slash wax. I've already been there, so it saves it for me. Awesome Google Chrome. And after you have it downloaded, you know how to download things. Just click on that and you can download it from there. I think you know how to install things. So, after you have it all installed, you'll need all your video files to be AVI before you start editing the video. So you're going to want to go to Format Factory. If you don't already have this on your computer, get it. It's worth it, even if you're not doing it for, um, just to use Wax. There are so many better things you can do. So, um, you're going to want to say Alt to AVI, Add File, and here you can add your files. And then you're going to say OK and it's going to take you back out here and you can press start and then it's going to have a loading bar down here when it's all done loading you'll want to exit out and open up wax so first off let me just say one thing wax is not after effects it's nowhere near after effects but it's a huge step forward from windows movie maker it's it's got many more features than that so let's just add our files what I'm going to want is, um, my muzzle flash because I'm making a gunshot. And now I want to go up and go to videos. From here I'm going to get, where is it? Gun shoot. I don't want audio. If you want audio, you're going to have to make it, um, a WMA or a wave. I'm not sure which one. I'm pretty sure it's WMA though. So you're going to drag your, um, file down to the timeline. In my case, it's just me shooting. I only want one shot, so I'll just trim that. And I hate it when that happens. That happens all the time for me. So, <clears throat> it's just me shooting a dumb little green water pistol that I found in my drawer. And now I'm going to... No, I don't want that. Make sure everything is centered. And then you're going to want to pause and go to the frame where you start kicking back. Then you'll want your muzzle flash, and you'll want to put it exactly on top of that frame, and trim it down to about two or three frames. So now it looks like this. Now that looks pretty stupid, but we can fix it. So head back a few frames, and go to video plugins. From there, you, you'll you see a lot of good stuff here. Chroma key is probably the second most useful feature in this whole thing. Quick 3D is the most fe most useful. Chroma key can be used for so many things, and this is just one of the few. So you notice that's on a black background, the muzzle flash we're using. So you can just go to color, scroll down to complete black, and all of it, all the complete black is gone, and then we drop the tolerance to things that are kind of black until we get to a good muzzle flash and we can close that up then we can drag a quick 3d down now quick 3d is basically like well let me just show you right now a muzzle flash appears and then it just disappears in one dumb spot what quick 3d allows us to do is let's just go to a good spot it allows us to move and scale our images so I can position this to the barrel of the gun. I had a good one there. And uh it's a little bit fast for me and a little twitchy because I play RTS games, so like Age of Mythology, I try to keep my mouse speed on high. So it's a little twitchy for me, but okay, that's tolerable for me. And now we're gonna go down here and crop left just a little. From here we can Rotate doesn't work, it usually works. Pivot doesn't work, it usually works. Hmm. Those just do different things depending on how your picture, what your picture is. And if you've chroma keyed or not. There we go. That looks pretty good. So now we can go up and X everything out. And we have a basic effect that we did in about five minutes. That was super easy. Now, if you want to get more complex, you can um, take a screenshot of this, and then you can trim about the three frames or two, depending on what you did. You can trim um, the two or three frames and take it out, 
and just take a screenshot of this, edit it in something like GIMP or Photoshop, and then you can insert it there for two or three frames, and you'll have a lighted environment. Pretty cool, huh? And this is all free. This muzzle flash I got online for free, and this is all footage taken by me. So, and then from there you can go here and save it as whatever you want, like gunshot. Okay, spa is okay too. And then you can just press render, and it renders it, and you can use it as a video. That's how you do. I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.